like Voldemort. Excuse us. <laughs> it's the sharp-tongued satire that stormed the UK, filling the corridors of power with foul language and foul play. Rob, Ennis, little bull jockey and the leaky box, go back to your desks and prepare to start briefing now. Now the thick of it has made the move to motion picture, crossing the pond in the process. All right, we've got to get a hold of those minutes. I have to correct the record. We can do that? Yes, we can. In the Loop is a flagrantly foul-mouthed affair, scrutinising the UK's political relationship with America in the run-up to war. It's ridiculous. The case against war is far stronger than the case for war, and the case for war is caveated all to hell. I mean, James Gandolfini provides A-list American oomph as a US general against military action. Peter Capaldi reprises his role as the Prime Minister's attack dog, Malcolm Tucker, forced to square up to the American heavyweight. Well, it was scary initially, but he's such a gracious and, and, and kind sort of man, and I'm such a, a huge fan of his. Uh, at first, I was quite sort of intimidated by the fact, well, A, that it was him, and B, that I loved him. Uh, and, of course, my character doesn't. But then I realised that, you know, I'm the sort of... Uh, uh, I look after Malcolm's black heart, and I'm sort of responsible for that. So I decided just to let Malcolm out and, uh, and deal with him. So Malcolm's tougher than I am. Behind the scenes, the film belongs to writer-director Armando Iannucci, Britain's king of satire and the man behind Alan Partridge, the day-to-day -day, and, of course, the thick of it. But how would his unique brand of comedy go down in the States? When we showed it at Sundance, I didn't know whether the, the Americans wouldn't take to a blend of cynicism and sarcasm about the whole process over there, but uh, they, they, they lapped it up. I think they saw it as a kind of comment on the last eight years. In the Loop hits UK screens nationwide on the 17th of April.